Hi guys, I'd like to welcome you guys all back to my channel. Today I am here with a Valentine's Day look that was inspired by the beautiful Zendaya. Um, I'm posting a picture of her look right now. It was on her Instagram. And um, yeah, I decided to take it... Um, I took it more for like... I did a softer version of her look. Um, I still included like the, the orange pink lips and the gold, but I kind of did it my own thing. So... Um, as usual, thank you guys so much for watching. Check the description box down below for some details and let's get started with this tutorial. All right, so Zendaya has very defined thick brows like me. So I am just going to, I guess, put the gel on them to seal it all in. Next, I'm gonna be using the eyeshadow base, which is my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk, like I always do, just to make sure that I have a nice base to start from. Next, I'm gonna use my Rocker Palette Heart of Gold, that light brown, and I'm only going, to, I'm gonna do the outsides of my lid. So I'm gonna leave the middle of my lid open, but I'm going to kind of trace around the lid and right up above into my crease and blend it out. Next, I'm using my La Palette Nude um, 2 palette, that dark brown and that purple, and I'm mixing it together. And I'm putting that on my outer V and above my crease line. Um, she has a lighter, um, look than that but I'm kind of darkening it just because I didn't have any pinks so yeah going back in with that dark brown and I'm just gonna use that to blend out because I still wanted to have the brown but I, instead of pink I used purple I'm using my BH smoky eye palette um, and I'm getting that red and again I'm trying to trying to mimic the pink without you know doing the actual pink Next, I'm going in with Blame It On Midnight. You guys know that's my favorite eyebrow highlight. And I'm going to be putting this on and blending it down. Then I'm gonna use the Milani Everyday Palette in Bare Necessities, that gold. And I'm going to be putting that right in the middle of my lid, as thick as I possibly can with a flat eyeshadow brush. Next, I'm gonna be taking that same brush that I used for my outer V and just blending it out a little bit. And I'm taking the e.l.f. cream eyeliner in black and I'm just gonna do a very strong wing tip. You can do it as thick as you want to. Zendaya has a beautiful, beautiful wing on her eye and I think that really helps with the look. So I'm struggling through it just to do it on camera but normally I do this off camera because it's a struggle. I'm going to be doing the Above and Beyond Concealer instead of my LA Girl Pro Concealer because I feel like the Pro Conceal may be too dark of an orange for my skin tone. So I still want this to be a full coverage look, but instead I'm using a lighter orange to see if that gives me a different look this time. I've gone back to my staple Clinique Stay Matte Foundation. Um, I'm using the Real Technique Stipple Brush and just blending that all in. It's I don't need full coverage foundation to give me full coverage because my skincare. Next, I'm going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm using the flat foundation brush to pretty much contour that around my face. I am taking a very strong line underneath my wing tip just to make sure that I get that really dramatic effect that Zendaya had. And I'm giving myself a highlight, of course. Next, I'm using the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and setting my under eye. Um, I did let this bake because my camera battery died, but then I'm using a clean brush to just blend it all out. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Clinique powder and setting the rest of my face. I do think using the lighter concealer helps, so keep that in mind if you are using orange concealers for color correction, that you might not be using the right shade of orange, and that's perfectly okay too. Next, I'm using my CoverGirl bronzer to bronze my face the typical way that I always do. She doesn't have a strong contour because she has a stronger jawline than I do, but because my face is rounder, I am going to contour my face to give me that sharp look that I want. Okay, so now I'm going in with the Melon Wine Wet n Wild Blush. You guys can check the link above for the video for that. And then I'm gonna go in with my ColourPop Avalon as my highlight. And yes, I blend it in with the brush after smushing it on my face. I think it just goes on much, much easier and better. Next, I'm going in with my Wet n Wild Eyeliner Pencil in black, and I'm putting tight lining my lower lash line perfectly fine. 
And then I'm going to be taking the dark brown from the rocker palette and I'm going to be using that to blend out that line because it's I wanted to kind of give a smoked out look the way the Zendaya's is perfectly smoked out without doing too much for my eyes. I'm going to give myself an inner tear duct with my black liner and then I'm going in with the combination of the two glitters from the rocker palette and outlining that line. And then I'm also going to bring it down into the lower lash line. And I'm using my favorite mascara, the Maybelline Miss Manga, as usual. I'm using the 415 lashes that I got from the beauty supply store. Next, I'm using my NYX Slim Lip Pencil in Chocolate just to outline my lips because the color that I'm using, I tried it without a lip liner and I looked absolutely crazy. But that's the best part about a lip liner. So you just line the parts of your lip that you really want to help blend the color. And I'm using the ColourPop Instigator. And I'm putting this on my lower lip and then I'm trying to blend it into my top lip and into the corners of my lips. I'm going to be filling this in later so I'm not really too worried about how messy it looks right now. Next, I'm using the Colored Rain Lip Gloss Pot in Socialite, and I'm using the lip brush that came with it, and I'm giving myself the glossy, glossy look that Zendaya had. Her lipstick was more of an orange, but I feel like Instigator was the closest that I had, and I kind of don't want to go for the light, bright highlighter orange, so I am softening it up with these pinks, and then once I like that, I'm going back in with my chocolate lip pencil just to give more of a blended look because again if you don't use a lip pencil when you're darker on some colors you do look a little crazy in my personal opinion all right guys this is the final look thank you guys so much for watching um stay tuned for a hair review and check out the description box down below for further details till the next time guys i hope you everyone has a very blessed day bye